Confucius course 6th one the golden rule of confucianism is do not do unto others what you would not want others to do unto you it's a beautiful code don't do this <laughs> first of all we have to understand do not do unto others what you would not want others to do unto you forget about the others first of all the rule of the world the rule of the nature the rule of the god the rule of the elders tells you that you have a samskruti in the sense you were born in a circumstance and you have to be conscious of that circumstance the circumstance can be a rich circumstance or a poor circumstance but if you try to understand that others are poor you wanted to be poor then you are unconscious you are not conscious once you become conscious whether you are born in a poor family or rich family you do not break it into pieces like the brahmana shutri vaishya shudra rich and the poor black and the white you will only try to look into you and once you look into you you can understand your power do not do unto others don't do what others are doing what you can you have to love you if you are taken an education of of your family or you are given a particular instruction to go to the school to study or take care of the field then you have to look into you than to others unless until like the indus valley civilization everything crashed because nothing was in written form greek civilization flourished because everything was in written form so if there is anything written form from there you can take a leap if there was nothing in written form never mind the body the mind everything what the nature has given the god has given has got a written form you have to just look into that and words flows and flows ideas flows love flows love more mountains of programs and problems and love moves all the obstacles and it only gives once obstacles moves out you can see a vast ocean of ideas ocean of money ocean of strength and when you have ocean of strength where there is this Confucianism is do not do unto others what you would not want others to do unto you. A simple example because others are shouting at you. You call them illiterate. Would you like to shout back at them? You will only try to find out how to improve that circumstances in your family. Let us talk about the family before you go to the country. Then you can understand where to put things in proper order. order is very important to improve the quality to improve the cleanliness then we go to kaisan that every one day every one day telling the family of course not on you because you will be pushing if you when you become conscious it is not one improvement one day 365 days 365 Uh, yeah, improvements but you will be able to tell your peers and your family members one improvement only and after telling you don't think these people are stupid they are not done it you have to follow it up because you have the strength to take it every day a thousand ideas a hit when you have thousand ideas a hit 365 days you have a oh, million of ideas million of things you put it into practice and these people will be forced it's a mass hypnotism not to destroy but to create your family members flows with you in that flowing you can see only love not for destructive purposes the golden rule of confusion is do not do unto others what you would not want others to do unto you when others did not share that doesn't mean you don't share you have to only consider that when you share 
you force others to also share when you keep the area neat and clean you force others to make it neat and clean or if when you keep it neat and clean you have got little more energy you go to their places and they make it a little more neat and clean and then i think the, the things flows follows when you have power just a simple like when the body is healthy which disease comes when the body is healthy the body takes it forward when you become a little conscious when you take it forward money flows people flows people listens money listens the world listens you have access you don't put it in swiss bank or other banks you feel more healthy to share because when you see the smiles send them when the stomach is filled like something when on stomach is filled then you can talk about nyana you can talk about education you can drag them to anything what you want them to listen the golden rule of confucianism is do not do unto others what you would not want others to do unto you do you think because others are doing you do not want that to happen because you see the neighborhood is dirty you want to make your neighborhood your house dirty because you see the neighborhood men and women is chit chatting wasting time do you want your house to chit chat and waste time because you see the neighborhood is very poor they do not even have a house and you also keep your house dirty because when you come back from your office you forget about carpentry masonry electrical plumbing sanitary mason painting etc you are at like kaisen every day you check your house painting electrical plumbing and you improve on it the moment you check on electricity you, you come to know the neighborhood is crying they are screaming at electricity board for sending bills and then also power shut down most of the time they don't get the power they live in fear when snakes will walk in um uh, robbers will walk in etc etc so you when you become conscious about electricity you become conscious about the sun and then you use solar panels to light the houses yes not what others have done you will not do it you will prove solar is possible and rain comes you will not go into the water department asking them for water if it is a village you will beg for the village people village committee to dig bore wells when rain comes you collect and you can see the house is full of water enough water to survive you will not do unto others what others to do unto others you will not want others to do unto you what forget about what others talk about you talk about you if you can do it others will do it yes in the education field when you are copying from others and suppose if they they copy from you that is accepted within friends but suppose they put their hand into your pocket suppose they steal something from your house they jump the wall and steal something from your house fight erupts that jumping the wall and putting their hand into your pocket happen because from the school type you start copying from the people because you look did not look into you, you your strength your strength is the homework what we have done it every day guys and every day every department you made sure that you have six subjects or you have uh, you have social science you got science you got mathematics you got uh, hindi you got english you got canada and then you made sure six all the six one improvement you have made it When you come back to the house, you know that it's electric, plumbing, sanitary, masonry, carpentry, and when you go to the nature, you find there is solar from the sunlight, rainwater harvesting, and you have the wind energy. So everything you put one, 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 and then you are powerful. The golden rule of Confucianism is: do not do unto others. what do you not want others to do unto you don't do this to others